Welcome to Chemistry as a Dialogue. This will be the first installment of a series of conversations in which we explain key ideas in chemistry as a dialogue between two friends. Hey everyone, my name is Jason. Time and chance happened to us all. After working as an undergraduate and receiving a fellowship for graduate school, this is timely and an example of paying it forward for others to benefit. Remember the concepts. Use the Accessible Organic Chemistry Guidebook on Apple Books and Barnes and & Noble, and use different methods for healthy positive reinforcement. It is true that repetition and practice helps reinforce the concepts. You can do it with the capability and a hopeful realistic outlook. Hey everyone, my name is Lebron, and this conversation is dedicated to the tens of people who have helped and inspired me, specifically my parents, my brother, my sister and those teachers in university and high school who helped make science accessible to me. Organic chemistry is a subject that requires effort, focus, and skill. These foundations have been selected after guided review and observation as to what concepts facilitate and support a good understanding as a student progresses through this discipline in chemistry. These foundations from the moiety to the metallics highlight with conceptual focus, key ideas, points, and memory aids to support your success in organic chemistry. Learning organic chemistry is similar to building a house. It takes time, skill, and persistent efforts. Let's begin. Let's begin this conversation. What are our goals and what learning habits do we need to develop to learn this material well? Well, some things to want to know are 1. The key words. 2. The key ideas and relevance of structures which we call Lewis dot structures. 3. As well as understand some simplified quantum mechanical concepts. Jason. So what are organic molecules? Well, dude, organic molecules can be understood as multiple atoms associated together made primarily from carbon. In short, organic molecules are carbon-based molecules. Yo dude, we can draw them in many ways and if we keep the same molecular formula, then those multiple versions are what we call isomers. These molecules may or may not have the same molecular formula. In cases where the molecular formula is the same but the structure is not the same we have what is called structural isomers. The constitution or connectivity is not the same, we have what is called constitutional isomers. And if the arrangement in 3D space is not the same, we have what is called stereoisomers. I have heard of stereoisomers especially when my friends talk about medicines. Something about some R and S anyways are there subclasses of stereoisomers. Yeah, there are optical isomers which are molecules that rotate light differently and their mirror images are what we call non-superposable which is a fancy way of saying when they are placed on top of each other like a pair of someone's hands, they don't match up perfectly. And bro as you were talking about, enantiomers are normally designated by R or S which stands for rectus or sinister. Wow this is cool. So are there other types of stereoisomers? Lebron. Yeah also there are geometric isomers which are molecules that have non-identical mirror images. Yeah dude it's like you looked in a mirror, but saw something that not the same as yourself. Added to that in chemistry we have double bonds and the way the atoms are arranged around the double bond. It is different for each isomers. We again in our fancy organic chemistry language call that either cis or trans. Hold on. Hold on wait can organic molecules can be linear. Lebron, let me get my model kit since it helps with this. If you have used your kit or gum drops and toothpicks to build carbon dioxide, one flavor for carbon and one flavor for oxygen. So two oxygens and one carbon, the molecule is linear. Well, but the other linear molecules are triple bonded one, named acetylene. Let's keep using the gumdrops. We can have the atoms all in a plane, but like a triangle or we say, trigonal. Okay, tell me more. Molecules such as formaldehyde is trigonal planar, and this compound is used in clinical settings. I think I understand. Molecules can have arrangements in 3D space such as methane which is found in natural gas, and exists as a tetrahedral molecule. Correct. Let's keep the cognitive train running. You can also at home practice with computer software such as Ken Draw or Word. So what the importance of the structure of 3D molecules? So let me tell a story. A long time back, there was this guy named Gilbert Lewis. He did a lot of hard work that we use today to note the positions of particles we call electrons. Other smart guys such as Gillipsy and Nihom also did significant work which gave us the set of ideas we call the SEPR. Say what? Lebron, just hold on a minute. Let's get some more gumdrops. Yeah, let me grab my flashcards and my computer to make my Anki deck. Active recall, let's go. Haha, <laughs> good job. As I was saying, the structure of 3D molecules can be seen using good Lewis dot structures. And we call the combo of Lewis and other scientist ideas, the SEPR, which helps us predict or have an idea before experiments what the likely structure of the molecule can be. However, watch out these ideas are not perfect. We talk later about this, but some bond angles are slightly different than expected, and we have to adjust our ideas with some quantum theory. Okay, cool. Let me recap before we move on. 
1. Some keyword are molecules which is basically a fancy way of saying substances made of multiple atoms. Compounds which has multiple atoms which are different. Isomers which are like the science version of family. We are basically the same but there is some difference. What did I forget? You forgot the skill that needs gumdrops. The SEPR. Oh yeah. That is the theory that allows us to have a possible idea of what the molecule's structure in 3D is. Right. Correct. Also remember electrons are what we want to keep as far as possible. Since our buddy Coulomb taught us, like repel and opposites attract. Lebron. Also there is the mixing of orbital flavors which we call hybridization. A mathematical mixing. And depending on the shape we see a different combo or orbitals. Linear SB, trigonal planar SB2, tetrahedral SB3, and other shapes you can check on internet. Just keep the basic idea in mind, which is geometry and orbitals are related. Some homework for you today. Questions. 1. What is organic chemistry and what is the historical origin of it? 2. What is one class of organic compounds? 3. What are three different types of isomers? 4. Explain the valence bond theory in general simple terms. 5. What is one molecular example? where valence bond theory does not accurately explain what occurs in molecules. 6. What are the hybridization of the carbon atoms in acetonitrile? 7. What are the designations of sigma and pi for the bonds in acetonitrile?